this is a beautiful orchid I got. I got this from one of our local nurseries and it was on sale. I did pay $15 for it, but the thing I like about orchids is the flowers last for a long time. You know, for a bouquet, you spend maybe $10 and then they're gone. But these orchids, they last for a long time. And these flowers are just so pretty. It's a deep plum and white. So hopefully it'll bloom for a while. And then there's also, um, there's a couple of orchids in there. It's not just one. There's one and there's another one, I believe, next to it. So I'm going to have to repot this in a little bit because everything I need to repot my orchids anyway. <clears throat> but I just wanted to show you this beautiful orchid that I got. And I'm going to enjoy those flowers for a good long while. Hi friends! I just recorded a whole 15 minute video and it didn't record. I guess I hit the wrong button. Ah. Anyway, I just wanted to stop by and I'll do the whole spiel all over again. Um, I went and I fell off the wagon. Uh, I went plant shopping and bought way, too, way too much in the way of flowers and dirt and gardening things and but it's actually the the time of the year where it's something that's planned and it's something that I really enjoy so I love hanging out at home in my garden I don't you know go on a lot of vacations and things like that I you know I go on some but um my garden and my home, I'm a homebody and I just love being in my house and my home and my garden. So I like to make it look beautiful every year. So anyway, I wanted to tell you about a couple of books. Uh, now this one is not new, I've had it for several years and it's called um, The Secrets of a Companion Planting and it's called Carrots Love Tomatoes and Roses Love Garlic. And it's by Louise Riot or Riote or anyway, that's her name. And this book talks about the plants that like to live together. You know, plants are like people. Wasn't that a Jerry Baker book? I think it was. He had a book called Plants Are Like People. And they are. You know, some plants live together better than other plants. So anyway, um, I went through the whole book and looked up all the uh, veggies and plants that I was going to be putting in my little garden. And I made myself a whole list of the compatible plants. So it's going to be different for all of you, depending on what you plant. But, you know, that comes in handy and I can use this from year to year. Uh, I don't need to do this every year. So anyway, it's a very handy book to have. I love this book. Um, I got one for my son as well, so and he loves gardening too, so um, it's worth the investment. I know they had them on Amazon. It's where I bought this one a few years back, and I think they still have them if anybody's interested. So anyway, I have that book. Then I went and I was shopping at my local discount uh, grocery store, and they also have what I call junk aisle. And they had this book, Maximizing Your Mini Farm, and it was only $1.49, which I thought was a great buy. And um, it's self-sufficiency on a quarter acre. Well, I don't have a quarter acre. I have a little postage stamp lot, but this also works for that. And it goes over all the plants and what they like, the kind of conditions they like to be planted in. Um, it, it's really a pretty comprehensive book, talks about the pests that they, um, and it also talks about companion planting. It's got recipes in it. Um, it's got things about fermenting 
um, self-sufficiency cooking, weed control, and getting the most out of your vegetables. So especially if you have a really tiny postage stamp lot and you want to do a little homesteading on it, this is a great book to have. And this is by Brett L. Markham. I don't know if it's available on Amazon, but like I said, my little, um, I found it in my little junk aisle at, at Mark's, but I really like this book. So for $1.49, it was well worth it. And then what I did was I drew out a, a map of how my garden's going to be, what I'm going to plant where. And I can, uh, as long as I don't change too many of the plants, I can refer to this every year now too. And I have five little city picker boxes that I'm going to plant. And then I put trellises and fencing all along here. And I'm going to put my climbing plants there. And then here I planted all my tomatoes so that both sides are accessible, but they can also grow on the trellis. So I'm, I'm going to try this plan this year, and I hope this works. So anyway, um, that's my garden section of, of this video. And those are a couple of the books that I really like. And I, I have a lot of gardening books. Um, but, you know, if you have any desire to garden, don't let uh, the space stop you. You know, you can even garden inside. Um, as long as you have a good light window and a good source of um, sunlight, you can even garden inside. So I'm going to try that this winter um, and see what I can grow. And even if you don't, you know, you can get the little arrow gardens or things like that. They're not that super expensive. They're not real cheap, but, you know, it's a way to grow your own things, become a little more self-sufficient. Um, and it's, you know, usually a one-time investment, so it's not something that you have to buy every year. All right, so I, let me show you the couple things that, that I bought when I went to the store because I was not a very frugal gal this month. So anyway, I bought this, let me show you here, I bought this little tiny pressure cooker and it's really small it doesn't look that small here on the video but it is it's very portable I mean a little bigger than well my head a couple times bigger than my head but anyhow it's very small and since I'm you know it's great for a single person um, cooking for one or even two it's perfect for that you don't have to drag out your big huge uh, iPod. I have one of those too that I can use if I have company or I have the family over. So that works. But this little pressure cooker, I haven't tried it yet. I'm, I'm planning to do a video when I find a recipe I want to make on it. But it has, uh, it's a rice cooker. You can do white and brown rice. You can cook beans. You can slow cook, steam. You can do meat, poultry, soup, and you can keep warm. And it's got a uh, time delay and it's got uh, the pressure settings. So it's made by Aroma. And I've seen these, I think on Amazon, they run like, I want to say 50 some dollars. I don't remember. Um, but my other local junk store, Ollie's, um, had them and I paid... And I paid $29.74 for it. So that was a great deal. And um, like I say, I don't pay full price for anything. You know, I buy everything on sale. If I find a good deal, I usually buy it. So, um, I mean, if it's something that I've been wanting. But I won't rush out and buy, you know, a, a $100 pair of shoes. I'll wait till I find some that... Um, are at a cost that I want to pay. So let me show you a couple of the other things I got. Um, I got, these were from Wish, and I thought they were just adorable. They're um, a little summer shoe. They're open toe. They have a small heel, not real big, you know, because this older lady's 
I don't know. I don't trust me in stilettos anymore, that's for sure. I don't need to break something. And a zipper up the back, and this is lace in the front. And this is something that, you know, you wear out in the evening. Um, I mean, I wouldn't wear these to Walmart. Well, you know, some people would wear them to Walmart, but I wouldn't. So, but, but I thought they were so cute. And um, they'd be great with some capris or some cropped pants, little jeans or something, or with a, um, a little maxi skirt. They, they'd be really adorable and feminine. So I got those and I wanna say they were around $12. I looked for the receipt and I don't know where I put it. So anyway, really cute from Wish. And then I got this pair of shoes and these are um, Life with Patty. Hi, Patty. Shout out to Life with Patty. Check her out. Um, if I can figure out how, I'll link her below in the description box. If not, you know, just have to do it in a search. But anyway, I got these. Remember these, Patty? I'm sure you do. But anyhow, I thought these were really cute. This goes around the ankle. Um, and it ties in the back. It's like the boho style, which I really like. These would look great with shorts or capris or, uh, or a skirt, you know, and I think they're really adorable. And they come in um, several colors, but I like these light ones for the summer. So these are what I got. Then I got this blouse from Costco, and this was $12.99, which I thought was a really reasonable price. I love the color for the summer. I like these uh, airy, long sleeved, well, it's like three quarter length sleeves shirts. It's real lightweight. They're real cool for the summer. Um, it's got some stitching on it that's really cute. And these look great with capris in the summer. They're a little longer, so if you're a little heavy in the bottom, it covers that up. And if you're not, it looks good in either way. So I got that. It's a Gloria Vanderbilt. Um, and I, I like Costco's clothes. They're quality and they're not real expensive. So I got that. And the cheers. This is my kombucha that I um, have a recipe for. And nobody ever knows where the card is, but I'm going to guess it's over here. Uh, I'll put the card into how I make this. It's really delicious. It's uh, not too sour, sour or tart. Um, it gets a little bit of ca carbonation, and it's really good. So cheers. It's a probiotic. It's a naturally fermented drink. Um, and it's very healthy because it's a natural probiotic. So it's really good for digestion and things like that. So uh, I got two more things. And since it's the end of the season, I got a couple of new jackets. Um, the jackets that I have had for a few years actually, um, were black. I wanted to get a little different color, a little different style. So, and I believe these were on um, Zoo Lily. And um, the only other things I bought on Zoo Lily were a couple of um, quilts. And I bought those to cover my couches. And I really like the quality of the quilts that I bought. So I bought a couple of quilted jackets. And this one is a long one. It's like a three-quarter length one. And the two that I bought, they're the, basically the same color and similar style, but one's longer than the other. And it, it's a real nice quality coat. It's not real heavy, because I know in the winter, if you do go in the stores or, you know, you wherever, a heavy coat is just really not the thing to have. And the thing that I really liked about this jacket was it has this really high collar. Um, so if it's cold and frigid, and I don't like having um, like a V-neck or anything um, in the winter for a coat, because then you're, if my neck is cold, I'm cold. So I always like something around my neck. 
And then it's also got a hood, which I like. I normally don't wear a hood, but when the wind's blowing, I really appreciate having that. And it's got pockets and it zips and snaps. So that was the first one I got. That was a good buy, you know, for $12. And then this other one was the same price, but it's a short and they're both weatherproof as well. This is a, a short one. And like I said, they're, they're similar styles. Um, this one too, this one has a zip up the top and a, a hood as well. So sometimes I like a sh little shorter jacket. Now this is long enough to cover your butt because I don't like my butt cold either. So warm neck and warm butt and I'm good to go. But I thought for $12, um, they're lightweight, they're weather resistant, and I thought they were both really good deals. So the only other thing I bought besides plants and more plants, um, I didn't buy a lot of tchotchkes for the garden this year because I have plenty. In fact, a couple of them broke. And since I am trying to downsize a little bit, I'm not replacing much in the way of statuaries or anything like that. So because I am trying to, you know, downsize a little bit in the garden. So besides that, the only other thing that I bought, I treated myself and bought a beautiful orchid. And uh, I made a little short clip on that too, which I'll hook up to this video. And um, it's a white and purple orchid that's really pretty. And I like orchids because when you buy them in bloom, and um, I like to usually try to find some that still have several buds on them. It's, it's weeks. I mean, you can get a couple months out of an orchid with the blooms and they're just absolutely fabulous. I like buying flowers. They're, they're nice too, but usually bouquets last, you know, a week if, if that. And, you know, you can pay upwards of $10 for a bouquet. And I want to show you this because my my daughter got me this for Mother's Day. And actually these flowers are just, they're gorgeous and they look so fresh. I mean, this is from, these are already a week old. And usually what I do with my flowers is I'll cut them off a couple times and rinse them. And I just put a little tiny bit of water in and I find they, they last longer that way. Um, so yeah, I thought these were really gorgeous and they still look good. So anyway, that was my Mother's Day present. That and my daughter got me um, a gift card from Amazon. So that's very well appreciated. Thank you, sweetheart. Love you. Um, anyway, that's all I have for today. And um, I can't think of anything else new. So, yep, that's all I have. Anyway, I just wanted to say hello and welcome if you're new to my channel. I appreciate it. Um, and to my other friends that I've had for a long term, I appreciate you so much. I, I love when people comment on my videos and I try to answer every single comment. Um, because you're all important to me. And I love having a friendship develop on this channel and a community of like-minded people I think is so awesome. So if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like my videos. Um, please comment um, and subscribe. And I love checking out other YouTubers channels. So if you have a YouTube channel, let me know below and I'll come visit you on your channel. All right, my friends, I love you and take care and abundant blessings to you all. And I'll see you next time.